Hello, fire signs. Welcome and welcome back to Monoclipse's Tarot. I am Amira. This is going to be a message for my fire signs. It's a bonus full moon reading. All right, we have a full moon peaking today in Taurus. Um, and actually, as I'm recording, it will be peaking here uh, quite soon, okay? So clear and concise messages. Thank you guys for being here. Time stamps will be below, all right? So let's get started. Aries. Welcome, Aries, to your bonus full moon reading. Uh, we're doing a three-card spread, and then we will get an oracle. We'll take a look for you at uh, what needs to be released, what is being illuminated by the full moon, and what is coming in for you next. Guys, go ahead and hit that like button. Okay, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. If you are, I appreciate you so very much. <laughs> All right, let's see. What's the message, please, for Aries? What is being released or needs to be released? We have the Nine of Cups in the reverse. Um, this, I, Aries, I feel like this is a lack of self-care, okay? Right off the bat, okay? An extreme lack. And it's interesting because it's it's, it's, it's the Nine of Cups in the reverse, right? Um, I say extreme lack, but it's, it's by way of someone doing something extreme or indulging in something too much. All right, this card in particular speaks about um, being in a space of, of lack, being in a space of where you do not feel fulfilled, okay? This is someone who may be um, putting on a show of some sort. So that is what's being released with this full moon. The truth is coming out here, which, I mean, that's what happens. Let's see what's being illuminated. Eight of coins, okay? Eight of coins, um... <clears throat> In Eight of Coins, Aries speaks on determination, okay? It speaks on someone who is focused, someone who is really determined to move forward, to progress, and to get to that solid nine. Right now, you're sitting in the Nine of Cups in the reverse. Eight of Coins is someone who is, um, <clears throat> excuse me, working on themselves. Um, this could also be a particular trade that you guys are... Um, le beginning to learn or beginning to master or uh, setting your sights on, if you will. Okay. And what comes next? Wow. Oh, okay. We have the Hierophant. All right. Hierophant is about learning. The Hierophant is about wisdom. Okay. This is our beliefs. So what comes next for you um, really is you seeing yourself differently because I feel like a lot of this is sort of like self-sabotage energy, especially with that nine of cups in the reverse. All right. So what's coming in some of you, this could be a commitment of some sort, a job offer even. All right. We're going to get an oracle from the Moonology deck. What's relevant here for Aries? Nothing is yet set in stone. We have mutable moon. Okay. It's a work in progress, Aries. So be patient with yourselves. Once again, what's being released is this nine of cups in the reverse. All right. If there has been some kind of selfishness, especially at work or just you not, not caring for yourself as much as you could have or should have, that's being released. What's being illuminated is the things that you are good at. Okay. Starting to work on yourself, starting to rebuild your foundation. Um, also starting to work on your finances. Okay. What's coming in for you is some kind of commitment, some kind of solid knowledge for you to move forward. All right. Leo. What's going on, Leo? Welcome to your full moon spread. All right. In this spread, Leo, we're going to take a look at what is being released or what needs to be released. Uh, what is being illuminated by way of the full moon and what's coming in next for you. All right. Go ahead and hit that like button. If you guys are not already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. So we're going to get this three card spread out and then we'll get an oracle 
from the Moonology deck. All right, so show me Leo. What's going on for the full moon for Leo? The Ace of Swords is really prominent. <clears throat> All right. Jeez, okay. <laughs> well, what is being released or needs to be released? We have judgment. All right, Leo, the judgment card, Scorpio energy. All right, Scorpio is about death and rebirth. The judgment card is a final decision that's being made. It's also, um, you know, if you have recently been in some kind of court situation or just a heavy, heavily emotional um, situation, right? It's done, it's over with. I feel like a lot of you are kind of still hanging on wondering what's next. Well, let's see what's next. What's being illuminated? The lovers, all right? Lovers card is an unexpected choice in love. I am going to clarify that because I wanna see um, some more information, but we have two dec decisions here. Once again, whatever this decision is back here that has already occurred, it's already, it's done, it's over with, but someone is sort of still hanging on. What's being illuminated is another decision. This could be an unexpected choice in love. It could just be um, a, 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 another opportunity to um, change something here. But let's see, I'm gonna clarify. And what's coming next, Queen of Cups in the reverse. So the Queen of Cups in the reversal is someone who is um, not interested, okay? It's, it's someone who's protecting themselves and you see it in this particular card. She is covering her cup, okay? No entry, please. <laughs> Queen of Cups is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Um, all right, let's see, what's this, what's this lover's card, please? What's this lover's card for Leo? But yeah, the Queen of Cups is also someone who is a bit um, less mature, okay, as far as emotions are concerned. Let's see, what's the lover's card, please? Hmm. Four of Swords, King of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, and the Five of Wands. Yeah, it's interesting, um, Leo, because, yeah, with that Ace of Pentacles, the Devil, and the Four of Pentacles, it's like someone is still holding on to this back here. I feel like this is dead, done, and over with. The decision has been made, okay, whether it be to um, end a relationship or, or um, uh, again, if you guys have been dealing with some kind of court situation, but I feel like someone is not satisfied with the decision. Yeah, judgment card here again, next to the Magician, Queen of Wands, Ten of Cups, okay? All right, let's get your Moonology card for Leo. Show me Leo, please. Most relevant message for Leo. You guys are also needing to be patient, all right? It's, uh, mm. yeah, and, 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 and some self-control as well, okay? To see this Queen of Cups here as far as what's coming in next, um, and especially in a full moon spread, the Queen of Cups is someone who is highly intuitive, who is directly connected to the moon, okay? Um, so that there is a bit concerning. And I feel like it has to do with someone who is sort of obsessed over a relationship or over a connection or a commitment of some sort. A time to give rather than take. New moon in Virgo, your oracle card is saying, okay? So this may be a time to um, give, okay? Give your, em provide your emotions or, or be honest about how you're feeling in this, at this time, okay? Sagittarius, what's going on? Welcome to your bonus full moon spread. This is gonna be a three card spread, you guys. All right, we're gonna take a look at what's being released or what needs to be released, what is being illuminated, and what comes next. All right, three card spread for you guys. Go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the channel. If you are, I appreciate you. All right, 
what's coming in for Sag for this full moon? We have a full moon in Taurus. As I'm recording, it is almost at its peak. <clears throat> okay. And then we'll get a Moonology card as well. All right, show me Sag, please. All right, what is being released? Six of Wands or what needs to be released? Uh, what are the words I'm getting? Um, it, 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 at its core, it's ego, right? But it is more um, uh, uptight, okay? There's some kind of uptight energy. I don't know what that has to do with, if that's you. Um, yeah, okay, it is you. All right, and, and how you are approaching a certain situation or individual, I feel like, okay? Hmm. I might clarify that. I'm not sure yet. Okay. Um, what's being illuminated? King of Swords in the reverse. Mm, yeah. All right. Sag, I'm sorry to say, you know, sometimes we all have to look in the mirror, right? Um, but like I said, there's some kind of like ego trip back here. Now, maybe, you know, take it as it resonates. And if it resonates with your situation, maybe this is someone else. I don't know because I'm not in your body or your life. <laughs> all right. But someone is definitely like on a high horse and um, way deep in their ego, so much so that their manipulative ta tactics, their, um, it's like receiving this power and then abusing it, okay? And that's what's being eliminated, what, you know, whether it's lies or, or, or uh, manipulation. Um, King of Swords in the reverse is a dangerous energy, okay? His mouth, his actions, uh, um, so on and so forth, all of that. All right, this is someone who also uh, uh, wants revenge for a certain thing. All right, goodness gracious, Sag. Okay, what comes next? Five of Wands in the reverse. Okay, we can do that. <laughs> yeah, all right, I want to clarify this King of Swords. So, like I said, Six of Wands, what needs to be released? Someone is on an ego trip, okay? Someone is, is also acting really uptight. I keep getting this, up, this uptight energy, okay? What's being illuminated is uh, whomever this is, is, you know, maybe this is someone who is falling from power. It clearly is, all right, with the five of wands in the reverse. That says that whoever has received this promotion, received this recognition, or was receiving some kind of attention here, maybe by you or, or at work, um, was not deserving. They weren't ready, all right? This is also someone um, who, like I said, yeah, is falling from their seat of power. Tell me more about this king of swords, please. Who's this King of Swords? What's the King of Swords? Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Empress. Three of Pentacles. And the Judgment card. Yeah, the truth is coming out, whoever this is, okay? For some of you guys, this is someone who um, you were working for, okay? Could have been a business partner or... Um, um, someone definitely in a position of authority. All right. All right. This person is having to learn this lesson the hard way. Okay. This is, it feels like someone who is, um, older than you doesn't have to be, but that's what I'm getting. Okay. All right. Let's get your monology card. Sage. Monology card for Sagittarius. Be bold and make the first move. Cardinal Moon. Okay, I feel like this card is asking for you to speak up, Sag. Okay. It's time to start something new as well. Okay, the cardinal signs represent the beginning. And, and it's time to start something new or, or to expose this person, perhaps. Bottom of the deck, believe in the impossible blue moon, okay? Don't be afraid of, of backlash or, or what have you. We already see here what's coming in next. This person is falling from power, whomever this is. All right? All right, my beautiful fire signs, this has been your bonus full moon spread. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.